And a democracy only works if you have an informed and educated population. If you don't have that, then democracy is actually a bomb with a burning fuse that will destroy itself. The founders tried to build some alarms into the system, but they could never create a system to survive the type of organized hate and delusional ignorance that the Republican Party has embraced over the past 30 years since Nixon, uh, who really left the Vietnam War going for years after he promised peace with honor, if you remember that. Uh, His honor cost America thousands of uh, more dead kids who never came back from there. But Nixon was an altar boy compared to Trump, who lied his butt off about the uh, pandemic while the bodies were stacking up like cords. Killed half a million Americans unnecessarily. And re- yeah, and refrigerator trucks. Clearly, yeah. Trump is a domestic enemy unlike any other we've ever had to take on. And that's because he's tapped into America's most abundant natural resource, which is stupid people. <laughs> H. L. Nixon, I love it. You know, H. I can't Nixon, argue with you, Dave. <laughs> right. He, he made the observation in the early 20th century that nobody ever went broke underestimating the stupidity of the... And Trump is the most iconic example of that axiom that we've ever seen. We're talking about people who are not only stupid, but proud of being stupid. Hillary called them deplorables, and they took it as a compliment. So you see, there's nothing to work with here. We're talking about people who are so stupid, they've been reduced to slavering mad dogs that act on blind obedience to their trainer. And this comes from decades of right-wing indoctrination, inculcating them with hate, fear, and toxic venom. And there's there's been many dog whistles that triggers them, commies, leftists, minorities, gays, but nothing gets them ginned up like the current bogeyman, which is the illegal alien. And of course, the typical conservative Christian thinks that uh, the Palestinians were supposed to be okay with dropping two million Eastern European refugees on an area the size of Delaware in 1948, which could be dragging us into yet another war in the Middle East and a situation that will make 911 and so-called wars on terrorism look like a picnic. It all comes from the same failure to deal with the core issue that the Trump and Jared Kushners of the world expect us to keep ignoring. The ugly conflict is never going to go away until we all admit that the decades of festering misery caused by the Israel-Palestine horror show is just plain old Jim Crow-style white racism. And until we have the intellectual honesty to acknowledge that and the fact that the ancestors of those brown people coming over the border in Texas were here for a thousand years or more before our ancestors got here, this misery is going to be continuing for all concerned for years to come. So the moral of the story is that we have seen the enemy, and it is us, Tom. It's just that simple. Yeah, to quote Pogo. Uh, which I guess I'm dating myself there. Dave, thank you. Uh, nice rant. Well done. Uh, you should turn it into an op-ed. <laughs> Send it over to Rob Call at opednews.com.